What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. No, you are not dreaming. You did not click the wrong video. It is March 24th, 2020, and I was going to do a retro 2K5 versus Madden 20 breakdown, and I can't do it because EA has ruined football, and that's all there is to it. If that hurts anyone's feelings at EA Sports, good, because you've set the gaming community back 20 years with this terrible product that you've made and continually sold to us year after year with minimal improvements. And I realized when trying to make a comparison between this play and the 2K5 play you're going to see, it's not possible, because Madden is playing Madden and 2K5 is playing football. And when you try to distinguish between the two, you look like an absolute idiot because... There's two totally different things happening. This is not football. This is EA's simulation football game, but it is not football in the context that we're used to seeing. And a big portion of why is what EA has become enamored with. Player emotions. Animations that are elongated. Here's a little tip, EA. I don't care about post-play animations in your game because I am turning off the game during a play like this. I don't care about fancy cutscenes like I'm about to see because I will turn the game off when things like this happen. Don't worry about them as much as you are. I offer that to you because I'm not saying the ball can't land on a player's shoulder. I'm not saying the ball can't magically pop up in the air. What I'm saying is what you cannot have happen is these animations play out where number 40 was just clapping his hands and now pointing at the fans. The user control on the Texan is just standing there and another player is going up to intercept the pass because what happens is as the corner gets turned here, you've got that player still doing his hand gestures. Okay, you've got the Texans player, which was the user, doing the Jesus glitch, shout out to Hard Eight Times, and the play is now ruined. Not only that, if we can get past that, the football on this play is atrocious. You can sit here and say, oh yeah, he missed a tackle, oh yeah, he's going to juke the lineman. What in the world is this player doing? He's certainly not blocking, and again, just the red arrow, this is simulation mode. As we go up the field, it only gets worse Watch the interaction these two are about to have, because there is nothing that happens here to signify why this dolphin would break down like this and run the other way for a moment. And then all he does is speed back up and get in a position where they're going to block again, but because the pursuit angles in this game are an embarrassment to football, even at the peewee level, watch how they have to adjust their routes right here to cut up field. That is awful. Okay, if you want to joke about how other games look, that is programming that belongs on an Atari. And then from there, of course, it's elementary. You've got players not blocking, players that can't go up field properly, pursuit angles that can't be taken, players locked in animations. What do you expect it to be? Anything other than a touchdown would be literally the player either diving on the ground or running out of bounds. That's all there is to it. This game has to get better or there isn't going to be a game because anyone will be playing anything other than this. Love to know your thoughts on it. Appreciate you checking it out. You know I will be back very shortly with more commentary.